Hi, Andrew McMurray from Zaki's to talk to you a little bit about how we have become one of America's premier Italian destinations over the last 20 years. How does that happen? That happens from obviously a lot of travel over there, uh, a lot of connection with producers and building relationships. And one of the wineries that we have a fabulous relationship with from Tuscany is uh, Le Pupile. And Elisabetta Gepetti, the proprietor, is one of the most dynamic people that I know. Uh, in Italy, she is a uh, tour de force. Uh, and you, when you've met her, you remember that you've met her because she's so truly dynamic and passionate about what she does. So, uh, their flagship wine, Safredi, which is a blend of Cabernet Sauvignon, Petit Verdot, and Merlot, um, has always done very, very well at the store, especially the last two vintages. The 2012 vintage, which received a perfect 100 point review from James Suckling, and the 2013, which is one of my personal favorites, just because I love the 13 vintage as a whole for Tuscany because of the, the tension and vibrancy to all the wines that have come out. Um, this past September, I had the very fortunate opportunity to be in, in Italy, and at that time, James Suckling had his first uh, own premier 2015 barrel tasting was Super Tuscans. Um, on premier is traditionally a tasting that's most associated with Bordeaux that's done in the spring every year and giving people an opportunity around the world to taste the new release that's coming out of Bordeaux. 2015 is a very, very, very special vintage in Tuscany. So James felt what better time than the fall of 2016 to arrange an, an opportunity for 50 of the top producers from Tuscany uh, to bring their barrel samples in and taste their 2015s. So the 2015 Safredi was one of the wines at the tasting and with his barrel reviews, it was actually the wine of the tasting. The two wines of the tasting were 2015 Safredi and 2015 Salaya from Antonori. Um, as rated by James Suckling. I obviously have my own personal preferences. So when I came back and told my staff about how great this event was, they said, wow, we would love an opportunity to taste a barrel sample of what a great 2015 tastes like. So I've set up here in the conference room in a few minutes, my staff is gonna come in and we're all gonna get an opportunity to taste for the very first time in the US market, for the 2015 Safredi. It's not in the bottle yet, it's still a barrel sample. Um, but like I said at the beginning of this, clip that we have great relationships with producers and I was able to reach out to Elisabetta and she very kindly air shipped uh, a couple bottles over so my staff could get a chance to taste them. So I'm going to taste the 2015 right now with you and I thought it would be a good opportunity to do a quick comparison between the wine that will be released in December 17, January 18. So it still has uh, a lot of work to do in the cellar uh, and the finished product of 2013, uh, which came to us here uh, this year, and then the 2012, which has been out in the market for about two years now. So we're, I'm gonna move this way across and I'm gonna taste youngest to oldest. Um, right away you can tell from the color of the wine in the glass on this 2015, it was a absolutely perfect growing season. So it was very, it got very hot in the summertime, but they had a very cool, even, uh, fall, cool isn't the right word, uh, just not overly hot. Uh, so they, the, the ripening that finished the vintage out produced wines with great uh, lushness and texture uh, and length. And you can certainly see that in the darkness of the color. Um, and I will quickly taste through them and give you my overall impressions of where they're at. Always important to note when you're tasting young wine, this is just a barrel sample, it's not a finished product. And so you're, what you're trying to get is obviously just the primary components of what you think of the wine. Like I mentioned, the ripeness of the vintage comes through in, in terms of the amount of fruit in the glass. As I remember from this fall, um, really mouth coating. It's, it's, I mean, it's essentially, it's like so pleasurable in the mouth because it's so round, it's so complete, it coats the whole inside of your mouth. You can feel the tannin and the structure to the wine, but what's dominating right now uh, is, you know, is, the, is the textural fruit to it. It's rich, it's long, it's delicious. It's hard to believe that people are gonna have to wait two years for this to come into the market because right now it's tasting so good. So 2013, 
you know, it's uh, already the difference between the two, and this is because it's a finished wine, has the definition, has more tan and more, tr more structure, and like I said, the high tone nature of the 13 is what I love. The best way for me to describe this wine is it's got great snap to it. Um, it's got the structure and the power of the, of the cab, the Merlot Petit Verdot blended it together, but it just has this great acidic lift, so it really cuts right down to the middle of your palate. Uh, it leaves a long, uh, lingering, you know, uh, that cassis flavor of the Cabernet, um, but in terms of like the precision to this wine, it's like psh, spot on. 2012 has always been a real big boy, and you can get it in the nose. And carries through on the palate. I see why James really loved this wine a lot. It's, I mean, it's big. I mean, it's really, it's a lot of mouthful to it. It's not overly tannic, but it's just, it's a lot of everything. Um, this is a wine that's going to need time to age, but with time, uh, certainly will go down as one of the greats from Tuscany. Um, between the two right now, 2013, 2012, I like 2013 more because it's got that precision and that snap to it. Uh, and then obviously not to slight 2015 when this comes through this is going to be a special special wine So I'm excited to taste these three with my staff today It's a good way for you to get a little peek behind the curtain uh, of how we've become who we've become and what we do with Italian wines It's our opportunity to have the relationship with these suppliers taste great wine for me to convey my passion to my staff So that they when they're on the phone with you or if they're talking to you in the store or you're looking on our website You can understand why we're so excited and what makes Zaki's difference. So Safredi, Le Pupile, they're wines you should have in your cellar. Don't miss out. Cheers